In Washington, President Biden's plan to forgive student loan debt for more than 40 million Americans is facing its toughest test yet, the Supreme Court. The justices heard arguments today on two different challenges brought by six Republican-led states and two student loan borrowers. CBS's Jan Crawford is outside the Supreme Court. Students came to make their voices heard. It's a lot of anxiety and fear. 25-year-old Jenea Moore would see about a third of her $70,000 student loan debt erased under President Biden's forgiveness plan. I feel like my life is on the line if, if it doesn't get canceled. She is one of 43 million people eligible for some student loan debt relief. Those making less than $125,000 a year could get $10,000 in debt forgiven. Those with Pell Grants could get $20,000 erased. But that comes at a cost, nearly half a trillion dollars. Critics say on an issue this big, Congress has to sign off. Missouri Attorney General Andrew Bailey is one of the state Republican leaders urging the court to kill the program. As someone who paid for my school in blood, sweat and tears and service to my nation, that's a, an issue that's near and dear to my heart. I'm confident the court will re th reach the right decision. A confidence that was bolstered during three hours of arguments as conservative justices seem skeptical that President Biden could single-handedly forgive student debt for 95 percent of borrowers. I think most casual observers would say if you're going to give up that much amount of money, if you're going to affect the obligations of that many Americans on a subject that's of great controversy, they would think that's something for Congress to act on. But liberal justices Justice has said the law gave the administration power to act during national emergencies like COVID. There's a 50 million students who are, uh, will benefit from this, who today will struggle. But the Republican leaders who are fighting to stop the Biden plan say all that debt cancellation will cost their states money. A decision in this case is expected by the end of June. Nora. Many people watching that, Jan Crawford, thank you so much.